Welcome back to The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for the time right now, 5 minutes to 9am. And this morning, we're discussing Neuro Linguistic Programming or NLP. Wait, wait, don't change the channel. It's not as complicated <laughs> as it sounds, okay? Okay. Yes. <laughs> NLP actually studies how your mind, so that's neuro, mm -hmm. and language, linguistic, mm -hmm. affects our emotions and behaviours, which of course becomes programming. Yes, it's commonly used for personal development and motiva uh, motivational talks. And although it's widely practised, NLP is still growing and there's still room to uh, develop uh, through observing successful people. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd find out more today. Mm -hmm. And to help us out, we have with us the Managing Director of the Navigo NLP Centre, Carsten Chibor. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good Thank morning, you sir. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Welcome to the show. All right. So and, uh, we've um, told the audience very briefly yes. what mm -hmm. NLP is. All right. But what, could you elaborate? Mm. Well, NLP in a nutshell is, uh, you can call it a user manual for the brain. Mm -hmm. Like when you have, when you're driving in your car and there's red light on your dashboard coming up, mm -hmm. then you can take your manual and say, mm -hmm. okay, what is it mm -hmm. and how do I fix it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. what is it? And the same thing is with NLP. It's if something is not going well in your life or you would like to change it, NLP helps you to understand how is it that my mind is doing this one and how can I change it then. I see. It's so uh, it's, as you described already very nicely, it's how our thoughts, mm -hmm. so what we're thinking, our emotions, mm -hmm. and our language uh, influences our behavior. Mm -hmm, For mm -hmm. example, when you uh, go to an interview mm -hmm. and you've prepared well, mm -hmm. however, then you're nervous, mm -hmm. you know, job interview or presentation, mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. and then you're nervous and things go completely haywire. Mm -hmm. You have as a stage fright or you don't come across as you wanted to come across. Mm -hmm. And once you are finishing your interview or the presentation, you think, oh my goodness, what I should have done was this and right. this and this. Mm -hmm. I wish I had this switch in my mind, mm -hmm. which I could just turn over and to be confident, to be uh, strong and powerful, the, the person I want to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in a sense, NLP uh, offers tools and skills mm -hmm. in order to create this switch in you so next time you will be more confident and you will know how to behave and how to use your language. So, so to find this switch, uh, uh, we, we discuss something very fundamental. Sure. Words are the core of thought. Without words, there is no thought. So does NLP follow this particular model? Yeah? Exactly. The, the main, uh, main part of NLP is, of course, the linguistics because mm -hmm. the, ling the language comes from deep inside of us and are influenced by our unconscious mind mm -hmm. and they influence directly our thoughts. Mm -hmm. yeah, they have an impact on how our thoughts... And when we talk about language, by the way, mm -hmm. it's not only the verbal language. Mm -hmm. It's a language, our self-talk. Right. We are self-talking to ourselves. Body and language? Um, it influences the body language, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. but when, I mean, when you wake up in the morning and say, oh, this is really a bad day, mm -hmm. how will this behave right. exactly. in, in your thoughts and in your body and you will be, all the things are going wrong then the whole day. It will be reflected. Mm -hmm. It will be reflected in it, exactly. Mm -hmm. now, NLP is also based on uh, four pillars or uses four pillars. Could mm -hmm. you tell us a bit about those? Well, the four pillars of NLP is, of course, the uh, goal setting, mm -hmm. yeah, because we all uh, want to achieve things in life. And for this one, we need to have goals. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, not many people have goals in their life. <laughs> or avoid them because... They get too difficult. Get too difficult. <laughs> However, goal setting is one, setting the right goals. Mm -hmm. Being in rapport, rapport means uh, having a nice uh, harmonious communication with someone uh, in, in the environment where you're working mm -hmm. or in your family. Mm -hmm. So building rapport is the second one. Then, of course, taking action. Mm -hmm. Taking action is, well, it's called one of the pillars. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you need to do something if you want to change something in your right. life. Mm -hmm. yeah? Fair enough, yes. And having the, 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 the right thoughts, the right uh, physiology, the body language, mm -hmm. all of this together. Is, is mm -hmm. So it all, all comes together, It yeah? all comes together. Well, Mind and body are one. So um, how would one benefit from NLP, mm -hmm. honestly? And how long would it take for, for the programming to sink right. in? Uh, you see, NLP, the wonderful thing about NLP is that it can apply, be applied in any area of your life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so benefits, for example, first of all, we're talking about communication. So mm -hmm. you can improve your communication mm -hmm. with yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the most important thing is about how you talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, with other people around you. Mm -hmm. This can be your spouse or your children. You know, how do you communicate better with your children that the message you want to get through uh, give to them also is, is accepted by the child. Mm -hmm. you know? How do you improve the relationship you're having uh, with your spouse mm -hmm. or with your colleagues, with your peers? So all uh, of this one. Any aspects of your life? You can any aspect then, and this one relates to self-esteem, uh, confidence, increasing the confidence, improving confidence level, health, 
Mm -hmm. Health is also has a lot to do with our self-talk, how we feel about ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all of this one is thing is where NLP is helping in sports, performance of course, mm -hmm. not so much the technique, but the, the mental. mental. The, the motivational aspect. The strength, motivational yeah? aspect and, and most sports like golf. Golf is a game which is won in the mind. In the mind yes. If your mind is not uh, in the right state, then you will not win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming now this NLP is taught to people in, say, for example, training sessions. Mm -hmm. Perhaps give us an example of what a training session would comprise. Um, in, in terms of NLP, when we, we teach pure NLP mm -hmm. uh, workshops like the certification courses, mm -hmm. it comprises the, the three parts, the uh, neuro, and uh, having other people to understand how is my mind working, mm -hmm. why is it that some people react to me in a certain way. Mm -hmm. I always get the same response when I uh, approach people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do I can uh, um, adjust my language, oh. attune my language mm -hmm. to get my message better through. Mm -hmm. And then of course the programming part, programming relates to um, the programs that are running in all, in all of us, mm -hmm. be it limit, the limiting beliefs, for example, we say, oh, I cannot mm -hmm. do this one, I cannot do this one. Mm -hmm. And how do you change the program? How do you change it? Mm -hmm. So basically a person with a defeatist attitude um, will be able to actually go, you know, enough of this, I want to be somebody else. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's harder than Absolutely. because you're your own worst enemy, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Like, like you just described it very nicely also that, first of all, it's acknowledging that you have a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah? That's the toughest part, yeah? <laughs> That's the toughest part to say, hey, I'm a screw up yeah. and uh, exactly. I want to change it. But this is a wonderful part. If you accept it and say, okay, I want to change it, mm -hmm. then you can also uh, do something about it. And then you can really uh, change the way you behave and, and be towards mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, besides just cha changing the overall attitude that right. you outlook, that you have yeah. on life, we We've also read mm -hmm. uh, it can also help you do two th other things. Mm -hmm. One would be get rid of phobias. Is mm -hmm. that oh, true? That's true. Absolutely. Really? Yes, absolutely. And it does it very well, actually, in really? a matter of a few sessions, few hour sessions. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And this is simply based, again, on the fact to simplify the, the way we look at how our mind works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every phobia is an experience, right? Okay. And an experience, we have only five things available, which are five senses, see, hear, feel, taste and smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once we change this, once we change those experiences, the, the way we have programmed ourselves mm -hmm. at looking at this experience, mm -hmm. then uh, it changes the phobia. For example, if you have a, if you watch a, I mean, it's early in the morning, but a horror movie. Uh -huh. Right. And you imagine this one, and some people say, oh, I can't watch it. Mm -hmm. If you switch off the sound and just watch the pictures. I see. Mm. And the immediately experience will change towards the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the same thing is here, so you have the, the, the sound, we've taken out the sound, we change the experience. I and see. And the same thing is with, with phobias, it works wonderfully I of see. quickly letting go of it. Well, uh, the movie Jaws did impact me very much. <laughs> <laughs> you never and swim so, in the ocean. <laughs> Thousands of that, people, I'm, yes. I'm so scared of sharks. And, uh, I mean, not you just, just swam with one recently. Exactly, I was facing my fear. Oh, so, really? um, here's the thing that I wanted to get into. Um, does the NLP program involve repetition? That means you have to mm. constantly repeat something to yourself yeah. or do something repetitively to reprogram your mind? Does that work? Well, traditional psychotherapy is actually uh, doing this one to repetition and desensitizing, desensitizing is, is, yeah. is the strategy. Mm -hmm. NLP uh, works exactly the opposite because we say, why would we put someone into the fearful situation he's mm -hmm. already fearful about, which increases in, in some cases the fear and the process of letting go of the phobia takes much longer. Right. See, okay. Why would I want to have, we have already so much fear in our lives, why uh -huh. would I increase it and enhance and put my finger in and say, does it hurt? Does yeah, it hurt? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> oh. And so we say, no, we, we look at it from a different point of view. We say we simply as really look at the picture mm -hmm. and is your picture in black and white or color? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's in color, make it black and white and the feeling of the picture changes. And we do this in a few mm. sessions and the client, and we do some other things of NLP, of course, with the mm. linguistics, with the mind, mm. and then it's, it's much faster. The other thing we've heard, we need to do this very quickly because we yeah. are running out of time, sure. mm. is that it teaches people to read minds just by looking at someone. Mm -hmm. That's right. Fact or fiction? Really? That's right. Really? That's true. <laughs> what am I thinking, Haas? Well, you're, th <laughs> you're, th you're thinking now, what if you really can, my <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's really quite just logical. <laughs> what if you really can? Be quite, no, but but yes, yes, it's in a in a sense. It's my magicians uh, are. Um, 
mentalists. 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 They, yeah. they use this kind of, of technique. Mm -hmm. We look at it from a scientific point of view because mm -hmm. our brain is wired in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And in order to access the information, mm -hmm. your eyes will be moving to the yeah. part of the brain where mm -hmm. the information is stored because your left brain is mm -hmm. the logical part and your right brain is, is, the, uh, 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 is, the, is the creative, the, where we come create things. Mm -hmm. So if I ask you, what did you have for lunch on Monday? Monday, I'll They're be looking towards You're my looking head. up to your left side, yes. which means you're accessing the, uh, the visual cortex mm -hmm. of your brain where right. the memories are stored. Mm -hmm. So if you had been going up to the other side, I'm you would have, you're making it up. Yeah. Ah. So careful for people now, don't go out mm -hmm. back to your spouse and say, where have you been last week? I'm going to look at a straight <laughs> eye, that's for sure. <laughs> it's always straight yeah. So, so okay. small tips like that. Right? I noticed yes. you small. also brought a little um, diagram for us with NTV7 in the middle. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, can you tell us what it's all about? Can, you, can I hold it up? Uh, well, mm -hmm. this is just for me, just to structure my, my thoughts, because this has to do with the mind, of course, how our mind learns. Mm, and okay. it's easier for the mind to, to, to access this information. It's called Quite mind honestly, mapping. If, if I brought this uh, uh, on, on the show, I have no idea how to read this. So um, just It connects, mm -hmm. again, in the mind. It connects the words with pictures in the mind. Mm. It's either than having a long list, mm -hmm. a, a page which is written full, and where you need to look where is the information that mm -hmm, I need mm -hmm, in order mm -hmm. to... So this is more of a diagram in which, okay. Okay, yeah, so you talked about the car dashboard, mm -hmm. thoughts and emotions. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, well, very interesting. The mentalist, yeah. I saw that somewhere. And there's reading minds as well. So it's it's really um, all these notes that we have over here for us as yeah. presenters. Could have been could, could have been could precise have into that. It helps your mind to uh, access the information much faster than on this uh, A4 mm. paper. Really, that's that's. It's very interesting, but uh, well, as, as we wrap things up, uh, of course, NLP has been uh, getting mixed reviews uh, sure. from the from the academicians and, and, yeah. and certain scientists <coughs> as well. Um, the main argument is NLP's results cannot be quantified, so therefore, there's no empirical evidence. Does it work or not? Mm -hmm. So it's still up in the air. Right. So right. What, what do you say to that? Well, very quickly on this one. In the past, uh, maybe there have been some valid arguments on this one. However, nowadays, science is catching up with this one. In our seminars, we show the scientific backing up of the information of the mm -hmm. things that NLP was talking about for many years. Stanford, mm -hmm. Harvard universities are talking exactly about what we are talking about in NLP. Mm -hmm. So the scientific backing up is there. And as I said before to you, uh, that not all every time we need to have a scientific backup for something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like if I help someone to get better in his life, to get over a phobia, to move on with his life. Mm -hmm. Who is a person yeah. to say, hey, NLP doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You're not supposed to get better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? If he got better, isn't it wonderful? Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. And uh, so we, there is scientific backup. Yes, right. there is. Well, the end justifies the means, that's for sure. Yeah. As long as yeah. someone uh, benefits from it and uh, has a better quality of life, well, I've got no complaints there at all. Thanks. Thank you very much, Carl, for You're sharing that with us. Yeah. Of course, if you'd like more information, mm -hmm. you can log on to their website. It would be www navigonlp.com NLP or mm -hmm. you can also look for them on Facebook or send them an email. Uh, you can type in NLP info at navigonlp.com. Yes, we've got the address on your screens right about now. Any questions you have pertaining to the uh, neuro linguistic programming, please do send on and uh, who knows, you might want to take that first step towards changing your life for the better. Yes.